Hey internet, Brittany Bill from Bill Loudon Science here. Today I want to talk to you about the red cabbage. If prepared correctly, it can be a delicious addition to any meal in both cold weather and hot. But of course, this isn't a recipe video. I'm not going to tell you how to prepare red cabbage. Instead, we're going to explore the science of what makes red cabbage, well, red. Check it out. If we cut into the red cabbage, we can see this beautiful, almost brain-like pattern. And in that pattern, we can see colors like violet and a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. Those colors come from a natural pigment called anthocyanin. Anthocyanins can be found in other dark violet and blue foods like blueberries and pomegranates and currants. And anthocyanins are a little bit acidic, which means that they can be used to create chemical reactions with other chemicals. In that way, we're going to use the anthocyanins in this red cabbage to do some cool cabbage chemistry. Try saying that five times fast. Cool cabbage chemistry, cool cabbage chemistry, cool cabbage. First, we're going to create an anthocyanin concentrate. Chop up about half a head of red cabbage then tear the leaves up into some boiling water. Over the next five to 10 minutes or so, the water will pull the color out of the leaves. You'll know it's done when the water has taken on that beautiful violet color. Carefully strain it into a container and set it aside. So, hey, I said carefully strain it into a container, set it aside to cool while you wipe up the mess you've made. After you've reduced it, what you're left with is pure anthocyanin in water. You've dissolved that pigment and fragrance, and it's got a beautiful deep purple color to it. And what I've done here is taken some test tubes and added a few different household liquids. We've got some vinegar, fresh squeezed orange juice, some regular tap water, a dissolved antacid tablet, and some baking soda and water. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of our uh, cabbage extract to each one of these. Now remember, this is already a little bit acidic, so it's going to react with each one of these chemicals. All right, let's give it a try and see what happens. So we start with our purple indicator. When we put it down into the vinegar, we see that it turns a bright pink, almost a red color. All right. And if we add it into our fresh squeezed orange juice, we notice it turns pink, but not quite as vibrant as the vinegar next to it does. And when we add it to our regular tap water, you don't really notice much change. If I add enough, we'll get that purple pigment, but all we're really doing is diluting the concentrate that we just boiled down. And if I add it to my dissolved antacid solution, ah, so now we have a violet color, but a considerably darker one. It's starting to shift a little bit. It almost looks like a gray or a steel color. And then finally, if we add it to our baking soda and water, that is pretty instantaneous we get a nice vibrant blue color. So what have we done here? Well, we have used our anthocyanin concentrate, our cabbage concentrate, to create a pH scale. So we know that this is slightly acidic and also that it reacted differently with each one of these chemicals. As we added it to each one of these uh, test tubes, it turned a different color. It indicated to us the strength of the acid towards this end of the test tubes or the base towards this end of the test tubes. There are hydrogen ions in atoms that are floating around and when they react with the anthocyanin, it changes the molecules just slightly, it changes the way that they interact. And what that means is when white light hits it, different colors from the spectrum are absorbed and then released. 
Same with the other end, the opposite happens. Over here we have what are called hydroxide ions, and those ions react with our cabbage extract, our anthocyanin, and again, it changes the molecules and the way that they interact so that when white light hits it, they absorb a different color and they release, in this case, a blue. Now that we know we can use our cabbage extract as a color-changing chemical indicator, we can do a couple of cool tricks with it. Check it out. First, we're gonna simulate what happens when you take an antacid to treat heartburn. Add vinegar to a container and then some of your chemical indicator. It'll turn bright pink to indicate that there's an acid, similar to when there's too much acid in your throat and stomach lining. Add some milk of magnesia and you'll notice that it's a strong base. It's gonna neutralize that acid. Add a little bit more and it'll actually turn your solution basic or alkaline. But what's really cool is if you try to add vinegar like your body creating more acid, the milk of magnesia will continue to neutralize it. Next, we're gonna create a secret message with invisible ink. You'll need your color changing indicator, a piece of paper, a Q-tip, and some baking soda with just a little water. Stir the baking soda and water really well, then paint your secret message onto a piece of paper. This works particularly well with sketch paper or other thick paper that can kind of absorb your solution of baking soda and water. Make sure to mix the solution of baking soda and water frequently, and when you're done painting your message, wait for it to dry. After your message is dried, turn the Q-tip around to the clean end, dip it into your chemical indicator, and then carefully roll it onto the paper. Don't smear it or you might smear your message. As you carefully roll the indicator onto the paper, it will react with that solution and reveal your hidden message. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed doing some cool cabbage chemistry. Of course, the best part of doing science in the kitchen is if you have any leftover cabbage, you could whip together a quick scientific slaw. My name is Brandy Bill from Bill Loud and Science. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. It really does make a difference to the channel. As always, I want to thank my Patreon patrons for making this and other videos possible. And today I want to give a special shout out to the Savage Cabbages. You guys are awesome. Until next time, do more science or more farming.